Is this a tale for our times? I'm not so sure about this one. A. A. Milne tells of a king who seeks in vain for some butter on his breakfast toast. <laughs> Ironically, I recorded this recitation under an orange tree, the irony being that marmalade features in the palm, and oranges make mighty fine marmalade. Well, well, I, I like the characters in this story, even the Sookie King. Uh, well, the Alderney is a bit of a cow. Well, actually, she is a cow. That's what an Alderney is. Uh, she's a breed of cow. The point for our times seems to be that Sookie leaders sulk when they don't get their own way and everyone around them find they are treading on eggshells to try to keep them happy. Except cows, of course, they're contented either way. What do you think? The King's Breakfast The King asked the Queen, and the Queen asked the dairymaid, Could we have some butter for the royal slice of bread? The Queen asked the dairymaid. The dairymaid said, Certainly. I'll go and tell the cow now before she goes to bed. The dairymaid, she curtsied and went and told the Alderney, Don't forget the butter for the royal slice of bread. The Alderney said sleepily, You'd better tell His Majesty that many people nowadays like marmalade instead. The dairymaid said, Fancy, and went to Her Majesty. She curtsied to the Queen, and she turned a little red. Excuse me, Your Majesty, for taking of the liberty, but marmalade is tasty if it's very thickly spread. The Queen said, Oh, and went to His Majesty. Talking of the butter for the royal slice of bread, many people think that marmalade is nicer. Would you like to try a little marmalade instead? The King said, Bother. And then he said, Oh, dearie me. The king sobbed, Oh, dearie me, and went back to bed. Nobody, he whimpered, could call me a fussy man. I only want a little bit of butter for my bread. The queen said, There, there, and went to the dairymaid. The dairymaid said, There, there, and went to the shed. The cow said, There, there. I didn't really mean it. He is milk for his porridge and butter for his bread. The queen took the butter and brought it to his majesty. The king said, Butter, eh? And bounced out of bed. Nobody, he said, as he kissed her tenderly. Nobody, he said, as he slid down the banisters. Nobody, my darling, could call me a fussy man but... I do like a little bit of butter on my bread. <laughs>